Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn about the repeat function in Excel. The hidden function that can be used to build beautiful bar graphs in Excel within few seconds. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. If you want to upskill yourself, master data analytics skills to land your dream job, or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate programs from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started with repeat function in Excel. The repeat or REPT is the short form of this function and this can help you build some good bar graphs. So, to just check on the demo for today's session, I've been exploring a few graphs online and I came across this particular one. So, this particular chart is from McKenzie & Company and it is the 2023 the year in charts. So if we explore a little more about the years and the events in this particular company, we found one of the good charts and since this is the time for appraisal, you might be considering a lot of opportunities to explore or a lot of reasons to claim that extra bonus on your salary payslip. Now here, if you see, we have some reasons why the IT team from McKinsey wants to stay back in the company and some reasons why it may not, right? So here we have why I plan to stay in my current job, career development, advancement potential, and uh, a few more reasons. And accordingly, a bar graph has been designed, right? So I'll leave this link in the description box below for your future reference if you need. And uh, let's also take the same data and try to build a similar chart in Excel using the repeat function. So I have uh, added the same data into my Excel spreadsheet. Now let's try to create the bar graph. Firstly, I'll reference the reason. Let's drag it down so that we have reasons for all of these. There you go. Now, next one is we will use the repeat function, REPT function and the text will be windows dot so that you get the emojis over here we can take the symbols or anything that you prefer so i'll be preferring this particular symbol for how many times for 47 times which is available in the cell b2 we will add if you go back to the chart here you can see a circular icon right so we will add that circular icon as well and the symbols look for a dot let's go with this and add a space if you see the chart again we also have numbers right so we're leaving a space ampersand the number there you go just press enter and there you have it now drag and drop this particular formula to all the cells there you go and now you can expand this and also take the titles And now you have the same kind of report almost so this also have some borders and etc so you can also do that let's add some borders to our cells you can add uh, i'll go with all borders and uh, they've also highlighted the top five reasons there you go so that's how you can create a beautiful bar graph using the repeat function in excel 
And with that, we have come to an end of this session on how to create the bar graph using repeat function, one of the hidden features to create a data analytics related chart in Excel. And if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources like PPD, dataset, etc., that we used in this session, please feel free to let us know in the comment section below, and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.